Hello everyone, this is Masaka. Welcome to 2021 Summer Paper Virtual Meetup. In this meetup, we met twice a week to discuss papers about distributed systems. In this first installation of the Summer Paper Virtual Meetup, we'll discuss papers from industries like MapReduce, GFS, Facebook's Tau, or Amazon Dynamo. You can always check out our schedule in this website or you can contact me via WeChat. And the rest of the video is my short introduction of this week's paper. Okay, um, 大家好,欢迎来到我们的暑假的 paper reading meetup. 我们今天来讲这个Amazon非常著名的一篇 paper 叫做Dynamo. Dynamo也是我们一开始的那个投票里面投票第二稿的一篇 paper. 然后我放到了上一周的投票里面, 然后上一周发现它投出来是排名第一。um, 今天结束之后 我又会挑五篇paper 同样会拿上一次投票出来的最高两票 Amazon's Highly Available Key Value Store 他的第一作者是 Pino Di Candia 呃,Dicandia这个人,我可能在群里已经说过,就是他比较低调,然后我找了找网上,只有一篇,呃,Wired上面有一篇文章,评论到了Dicandia,他说Dicandia uh, is one of the founding fathers of the NoSQL movement, whose influence now extends well beyond the big name website, stretching into the data center that underpin all sorts of businesses,这给了一个非常高的评价。if you look at every NoSQL solution out there, everyone goes back to the Amazon Dynamo paper or the Google Big Table paper, says Jason Hoffman, the chief technology officer at the San Francisco-based cloud computing outfit joint. What would the world be like if no one at Google or Amazon ever wrote an academic paper? Um, 就是三个比较著名的 system 一个是Dynamo 一个是Bigtable 还有一个是Google的Spanner 我们可以看一下他们对比的是 consistency, availability 和 expressivity 可以看到Dynamo和Spanner 完全就是两个极端的 system 一个是eventual consistent 一个是strong consistent availability 方面的话 Dynamo是做到了极致 它是high throughput, low latency Spanner的话 因为 你们知道它是 uh, strictly serializable 所以它的 availability 是被 um, 那个 consensus algorithm 所影响的 expressivity的话 Dynamo就是一个非常简单的 key value store 然后 Spanner的话 是支持 uh, distributed transaction 的 big table的话 是 somewhere lie in between 它应该更朝 eventual consistent 这个方向 而不是 uh, Spanner 那个 strict serializability 那个方向 比较有意思 um, 然后我这个 notes 给大家发一下 在chat里面 uh, 如果你们有什么问题的话 可以随时在chat里面 或者直接开麦来跟我提就好了 你的阅读速度和我不一样的话 um, OK 那么我先开始 Dynamo is an eventual consistent leaderless key value store used in internal Amazon services serving the needs of establishing a 99.9% .9 SLA um, 这个东西非常的重要 在paper里面提到过很多次 他们的很多 design都是被这个 This paper, together with Google's Big Table paper, had a huge impact on later NoSQL storage designs, including React, Facebook Cassandra, and the linking's Voldemort. As the paper mentioned, um, I'm quoting here, the architecture of a storage system that needs to operate in a production setting is complex. In addition to the actual data persistent component, 
the system needs to have scalable and robust solutions for load balancing, membership failure detection, failure recovery, rapid cost synchronization, overloading handling, state transfer, and such. He says, "Oh, there's a long section that I didn't write down." But this table one, I think, is probably the greatest achievement of the whole paper. It summarizes the problems of Amazon in building a storage system and the problems. 这些解决方案，嗯，在那个 Designing Data Intensive Application DDIA 那本书里面，又被统称为说叫做 Dynamo Style。后面的 Cassandra、React 或者 v o l d e m o 里面很多都用到了 Dynamo 最初所用的这些 technique 来解决这些问题。我们来看一下 Partitioning， 它用的是 Consistent Hashing， 呃、um, ，High Availability for Writes 用的是 Vector Clock，Handling Temporary Failure 用 Sloppy Quorum 和 Tinty Handoff。Recovering from permanent failure is、uh, anti-entropy using Merkle tree. Membership failure, membership detection, is on gossip. We will later talk about it. But I will not talk about it in detail because I assume that all of you have read this paper. Okay, designing a production-ready storage system is difficult to get it right, and this is what Dynamo is famous about: using the correct techniques to solve their hardest problems. Uh, we will start with partitioning and replication, just like Cord. Um, if you don't know Cord, Cord is, uh, first is MIT 六点八四那个教授呃、uh, Robert Morris， 他的他和他的 PhD student 发表了一篇 paper， 就是介绍了 Cord。这是一个 protocol 用来做呃、uh, 一个像 Ring 一样的呃、uh, consistent hashing 里面的 service lookup。嗯、um, ，非常有意思的一篇 paper。然后它里面也提到了该怎么把 node 分配到一个 ring 上面，然后该怎么呃来了一个来了一个 data 之后，把它的 key 先 hash 一遍，然后再 place 在这个 ring 上，然后它存在了它下一个那个离它最近的下一个的 node 上面。Dynamo uses consistent hashing to partition the nodes by hash of the ID into a ring-like key space. And hashes the key of the data object to the next successive node to reduce the skew. Um, 我们知道，如果只是用 consistent hashing 的话，这个 key space 肯，不好意思，是这 key space 肯定不是 uniform， 因为它是一个 random 的一个结果，所以它肯定是会有 skew 的。那么 ，to reduce the skew, Dynamo improves consistent hashing. By using fixed partition assignment for rebalancing, and this is in chapter six point two.、Um, they mention three strategies, and this is the third strategy. This has the advantage of fixed number of partitions, but a disadvantage that the size of the partition grows linearly with that of data. Cassandra, on the other side, uses random token assignment to grow the number of partitions linearly with the number of hosts, and decrease partition size linearly. 嗯、um, ，所以 Cassandra 和 Dynamo 这一块在怎么做 rebalancing 是有一个不同的选择的。Unlike Cord or other systems that rely on Zookeeper for membership discovery, Dynamo uses gossip-based protocol to look up the node that contains the desired key. The operation com complexity is O1 compared to Cord's O log n for membership lookups, but with the cost of a loose membership consistency. 然后在 paper 里面 ，Dynamo 把这个 membership consistency 称之为 eventual membership consistency. To achieve high availability and durability, Dynamo replicates data to n physical nodes. The n minus one nodes are successor of the first coordinator node determined by the consistent hashing. 那么我们来看一下这张图。这张图的话，就是我们现在有七个 nodes， 然后根据它呃 hash 的 ID。放在了一个 ring 上面，那么一旦有一个 key 来之后，比方说它打在这个地方，那么它就是 belongs to B 这个 node。但因为我们要做 replication， 所以 B 会把它给 replicate 到它下面的。如果我们的 n 是三的话，会 replicate 到它下面的两个 node， 就是 C 和 D 上面去。嗯、um, ，然后我们知道，一如果这个 replication 是呃、uh, asynchronously 发生的话。它，呃，不是，不好意思，如果这个 replication 里面有多个这个
呃 leader 的话，也就是说每一个 node 都如果都能有 set rights 的话，它一定就会有这个呃 conflicts。这个 conflicts 是发生在你有 concurrent rights 的时候。所以呃，它的方法就是 it uses version vector for con 呃 replication conflict detection。在文章中，他说的是 vector clock。然后 DDIA 那本书里面特意强调了，它其实准确来说应该叫做 version vector， 所以我这里用的也是 version vector。Um, once the causality violation is being detected, Dynamo can either use last right wing strategy based on physical timestamp to resolve it, or propagating back to the application to handle the merge. Both of the conflict re resolving strategies are not ideal. Lost right wings can hurt durability, and the propagating the complexity back to the client is making operation harder. Um, 这也是 eventual consistency 的一个弊端。呃，并且是也这是一个 leaderless 的 schema， 所以，呃，两种方式都不是很好。A final note to dynamic replication is that they limit and truncate the version vector size to ten. 呃，因为这个 version vector 是会不断的永远的。呃，增长增长下去。如果你不 truncate 它的话，那么 the consequence of this is unknown as the paper was written. But I believe it could result in correct answer by the conflict merger. 如果这个 version vector size 每次都 truncate 到十的时候，很有可能呃某一些呃 corner case 会发生，导致你这个呃 last right win 也好，或者你的 application handling merger 也好，会会出现问题。What's Dynamo's story about read or write consistency? Well, it has a concept of coordinator node, which is determined by the usual、um, consistent hashing rule. It accepts reads and writes. However, when coordinator failed, other replicas are allowed to handle reads and writes. So Dynamo isn't a read write read or write consistent system after all. 但是如果你没有呃、uh, failure 的话，它是可以做到 read or write consistent 的。Eventual consistent means that after pausing writes, all the replicas will eventually converge to the same state.、Um, the Merkle tree rule is the same in Dynamo point of view. To achieve this, the coordinator needs to replicate the put to all the replicas. However, Dynamo wants the property of always writable, even in facing failures. Dynamo uses a quorum mechanism to tolerate no failures. Um, quorum, 大家应该也很熟悉 A typical setup is n equal to three, r equal to two, and w equal to two. This is not enough to achieve always writable, since it can only tolerate one no failure. Dynamo uses sloppy quorum and hinty handoff, um, to resolve this. This is another example that Dynamo favors availability than consistency. Lastly, detecting and handling failures are also important. Dynamo uses the same gossip protocol to detect failures. Um, 它这个做法其实非常简单 If a node cannot be reached, it will be regarded as done. 就就是这样。呃，它也不是什么 perfect failure detector. 它就是一个最简单的这种 message exchanging. 如果你 reach 不到，我就把你当做是当。When the node comes back, Dynamo needs to quickly resynchronize the data to the recovered node in the background. This is also called anti-entropy process. 这是一个 big word. It uses Merkle tree for comparison. It allows nodes to compare whether the keys within a key range are up to date. The advantage of the Merkle tree is that it minimizes the amount of data needs to be transferred during synchronization process. Permanent node failure is handled by the admin using command line tools. Ah,、uh, 这是一个 human 在去 handle 这个 The question remains to me is how does Dynamo be confident that some nodes become permanently unavailable and human intervention? Ah,、uh, paper 里面其实没有提到。它虽然是用 gossip protocol， 但是怎么保证一个 node 当掉之后 ，system 里面所有的 node 都会在？一定的时间内知道它已经当掉了，并且，呃，这个 monitoring system 会通知 admin 之类的，你需要来，呃，增加 node 或者去把它给移除掉之类的。然后最后这里有一个小小的图，是展示这个 Merkle tree 是怎么 work。这里我就不多，呃，多做解释了，因为我们当时学 
Bitcoin 的时候，其实也见到了 Merkle Tree 这个东西。它其实就是把一个 Node 里面的所有的 Key 当成呃 Leaf Node， 把它给 Hash 起来，然后每两个 Hash 出来的结果又在 Hash 里边，然后把它构构成了一个这个 Binary Tree。然后他每次 compare 的时候，只需要把一个 branch of the tree 拿去 compare。如果发现不对的话，他就往下走，直到发现啊啊、呃呃、最根源的地方为止，他就知道他该 exchange 哪些 data 来做呃 resynchronization。所以整篇 paper 一共就是这大概呃五个非常有名的 dynamic style techniques。嗯，所以他最 impressive 的地方就是。他把这些所有的这些 technique 用进去了，再然后建了一个 production ready 的 key value store， 来满足他这个 ninety nine point nine percent SLA